Hello. Welcome to another video from our channel. Here you will have tips and information on how to stay strong and healthy both physically and mentally, increasing your disposition, your stamina, and your immunity. Together we will be unveiling the secrets of how to benefit from everything that nature provides us to achieve our goal of enjoying a healthy life. Have you had an ultrasound and been diagnosed with a fatty liver? Or did you have blood tests and your TGO and TGP are high? Or again, do you have a dull ache under your ribcage? Is it liver fat? Well, in this video we're going to talk about fatty liver, what are the symptoms, what could be causing your fatty liver, if you are more prone to fatty liver, how to revert, and, at the end of the video, we'll talk about 5 foods and drinks you should avoid, and 5 you should incorporate into your diet. Is hepatic stetosis common? Yes. It's common. About 30% of Brazilians have fatty liver. It's the most common chronic liver disease, and it's only increasing, there are children and teenagers with fatty liver. More than 1 billion people in the world have fatty liver. And stetosis can affect your liver function. What does your liver do? The main function of the liver is to remove toxins from the body. It filters everything that enters your bloodstream, it cleans alcohol, drugs, pesticides, and chemicals you come in contact with. It also produces bile, stores iron, balances blood glucose, and produces protective and clotting factors. Naturally we cannot live without the liver. So you have to take good care of it. And everyone's liver is fatty. But if this fat exceeds 5% of the weight of the liver, we suffer from hepatic stetosis, that is, your liver is fatter than normal. As a rule, if you have 3 degrees of hepatic stetosis, degree 1, mild hepatic stetosis, grade 2 when there is accumulation of fat and grade 3 when there is a large accumulation of fat in the liver. What can this fat in the liver cause? If it's low fat, it might not be a problem. However, Around 20 to 30 percent of people with stetosis may have steatopatitis, which is inflammation of the liver. You have a blood test and you have high SGOT and SGPT which tells us the liver is damaged. And if so, you could be in trouble, because this inflammation can progress to fibrosis and, over time, to cirrhosis and even liver cancer. But let's say a good thing, courage most of the time, can turn things around. If you remove even 90% of your liver, it can return to its natural size. However, he is not invincible. What are the symptoms of fatty liver? Most patients have no symptoms and this is a problem because sometimes people don't feel anything and the liver becomes inflamed. That is why we need imaging tests, abdominal ultrasound, tomography, MRI to make sure that a person does not have fatty liver. But there are few patients with symptoms such as abdominal pain near the rib, feeling of heaviness in the upper right part of the abdomen. Nausea, slow digestion, jaundice, which is yellow eyes and skin and weakness. This happens when the disease is already more advanced. And what are the causes of fatty liver? Mainly two, alcohol and obesity. For heavy drinkers, the rate is closer to 100%. In obesity, it reaches 80%. However, there are people who are thin and don't drink and have fatty liver. Why? They eat a lot of non-nutritive food, a lot of fast food, they don't exercise, they use certain drugs like steroids, amiodaron, diltiazem, HIV antiretrovirals. They may have diseases that damage the liver, such as hepatitis. Also, diabetes, high cholesterol, high triglycerides, hypothyroidism, and polycystic ovaries if you lose weight quickly can lead to fat accumulation in the liver and gallstones. 
and what should you do to reverse the fat in your liver? Four primary attitudes. First, if you drink, you must stop drinking. You have to eliminate alcohol from your life. Alcohol damages the hepatocytes, which are the cells in the liver, and you have to get everything out of the liver. Second, food is essential, eat well. However, do not exaggerate the size of the plate. And try the Mediterranean diet, voted the best diet in the world and some experts believe it can reverse liver fat. You should eat more fiber, fruits, vegetables, grains, cereals, nuts and olive oil. Third, lose weight. If you are overweight or obese, Losing 5% may be enough to improve your altered liver enzymes, lower TGO and TGP, and reduce liver fat. But lose weight gradually, as rapid weight loss can increase steatosis, inflammation and fibrosis. Fourth, you must do physical activities, at least 150 minutes of physical exercise per week. Exercise reduces insulin resistance, triglycerides, can reduce your weight, and may reduce your risk of thrombosis, which is linked to fatty liver. Before talking about the most important part of the video, let's say something that we should be very attentive. Patients with steatosis have an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, and thrombosis. Heart disease is the leading cause of death in people with fatty liver. Think about it. These two diseases have several risk factors in common, including metabolic syndrome, changes in blood glucose and triglycerides, increased abdominal fat and high blood pressure. Type 2 Diabetes and Obesity If you have steatosis, consult a cardiologist to investigate your coronary arteries. Now, what are the five foods you should avoid? Sugar first. We know that a high sugar diet can increase the risk of fatty liver. There is a study in obese children and adolescents who eat a lot of sugar that showed that restricting sugar for a short period of just 9 days, reduced liver fat by about 4%, improved insulin resistance and overall health. Second, corn syrup is off the menu. This type of syrup is very dangerous for liver fat, it is a food additive widely used in the industry to sweeten different types of food. Because it's cheap, cheaper than sugar and worse than sugar. If you drink soft drinks, juice boxes, condiments like ketchup or mustard, canned fruits, jams, cakes, puddings, those powdered drinks that you mix in water, you are ingesting this, which is doing a lot of harm to your health. Third, salt. Can salt increase liver fat? A Nature magazine article from November 2021 showed that a diet high in salt increases fatty liver. Additionally, processed foods are high in salt, such as tomato sauces, instant noodles, sliced bread, and frozen foods, sausages, such as ham, turkey breast, soup, mortadella, salami, sausage all have a lot of salt. Avoid. Fourth, fine wheat. Breads, pasta, crackers, all this increases liver fat. Fifth, saturated fats, such as yellow cheese, bacon, fatty meats such as ground beef, sirloin, giblets, chicken skin, pork, butter, ice cream. Better not to consume or consume as little as possible. And now 5 foods you should include in your diet. Number 5, Saffron, studies focusing on the addition of this plant to food show that the active ingredient can reduce the liver enzymes TGO and TGP, which indicate liver damage in people with steatopatitis. Number 4, Fruits. If you don't overdo it, many studies show that fruits reduce liver fat. What are the best? Avocado has many good fats that have liver protective effects. Another fruit that is good for the liver, acai, has some studies showing that it reduces inflammation in the liver and reduces steatosis. 
but it has to be pasteurized, because otherwise it can be infected by Chagas disease. Araka also has a protective effect. And Cambyasi can also protect against steatoses. Number 3, Fiber, Whole grains like oats, flax seed, chia are associated with a reduced risk of fatty liver. In addition, chestnuts and nuts contain fiber and good fats, which help prevent fatty liver. And, of course, the leaves, as they have a lot of fiber. And Swedish research concluded that nitrogenous compounds found naturally in green leafy vegetables can prevent and reverse fatty liver disease. Lettuce and spinach contain high concentrations of nitrates. Number 2 Olive Oil you must include this in your diet as soon as possible. Eat 3 to 4 tablespoons of olive oil a day. Several studies have concluded that olive oil can significantly reduce fat deposition in the liver. Add 2 tablespoons to your lunch salad and 2 more to your dinner salad. You will be able to maintain this healthy habit for a long time. Number 1, Coffee. Coffee can offset what a high-fat diet does to your liver. Reduce fibrosis and progression of liver disease. Why? Whether it's because of caffeine or polyphenols in coffee, a type of flavonoid, tocopherol which is a type of vitamin E or chlorogenic acid which is antioxidant, neuroprotective and hypoglycemic found in coffee. So if you have a fatty liver, you can drink a little more coffee, which will protect against inflammation and reduced fibrosis, just cut back on the sugar. And avoid coffee after 2 p.m., as it can disturb your sleep. And then? Did you like this content? Was it relevant? Added more value and knowledge? Post here in the comments and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications. Share with friends and relatives so that more people have access to this content. Leave your like, so YouTube understands that this information is relevant and makes it reach more people, so that everyone enjoys more health. Live a full life, face your challenges with faith, eat right, move with joy and walk hand in hand with happiness. Until the next video.